वेलकम टू दिस एपीसोड ऑफ द हरप्रीत सिंह शो अज के सैगमेंट में अभी थोड़ी मुलाकात करवाएंगे दो मेहमानों के नाल जिड़े कि बी सी इंडिया बिजनेस नैटवर्क तो आए हुए हैं कैथरीन सैस और विवेक सपकूर ये ऑर्गनाइजेशन क्यों इस्टैबलिश की गई इसका की मकसद है और इस बारे जानकारी लेने दोनों ही मेहमानों को वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मिस सपकूर वील स्टार्ट ऑफ विद यू यू हैव बीन फॉर द पास्ट थ्री डेकेड्स प्रमोटिंग द टॉपिक ऑफ ट्रेड बिटवीन इंडिया एंड कैनेडा Uh, how far have we succeeded in this i think we have gone a very long way considering in the last say about 30 years ago when i was here and i came here uh, there was hardly any response to india in right. fact many people did not know the businessmen did not know where india was mm-hmm. because they concentrated only on the us market right and they were very complacent and they knew that the entire product and production would go to usa mm-hmm. and no need to develop uh, uh, other markets but today the story is different mm-hmm. Right, and Catherine, how have you been associated with, and especially this new organization, BC India Business Network? How did you get it associated? Well, I've been working with uh, Vivek and uh, our our former organization for the past four years, I would say, and uh, I'm currently the president of our uh, board of directors. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been working with India myself for over 20 years. Right. I'll be going to India at the end of the month. It'll be my sixth trip. Wow. And uh, our organization is here to promote business, cultural, and educational ties between India and British Columbia. Mm-hmm. Right. We have a very, very strong uh, Indo-Canadian community, as you know, mm-hmm. and now uh, mainstream businesses are looking to India as a very, very strong market with which to sell their services and their products. Right. Why the name network? Because it could have been a council or something else. So why have you emphasized on this network? Then? The essence of business mm-hmm. between India and Canada is networking between businessmen of the two countries. Right. now the important role which is being played is by the smes the small industry sector right we have located our people all over bc so that even in the remote places as far as come looks businesses from there right. could get information on india mm-hmm. and they could uh, network with people in india right within india also we have established connections with the world trade center in bombay mm-hmm. the all india association of industries in bombay with the Indo-Canadian Business Chamber in New Delhi mm-hmm. which is patronized by the Canadian High Commission there and we have a reach a wide outreach and a network is the real job of a network is to meet with people far and wide so that information and uh, talent as well as uh, collaborations are possible in the mm-hmm. remotest places from a remote place in BC to right. a remote place in India there is a connection well, that's wonderful So Catherine uh, just recently this uh, organization has been formally launched by Indian High Commissioner Mr Vishnu Prakash who was over here. Yes. So could you tell us now that uh, what are your future plans as uh, uh, Vivek was telling us that yes the smallest uh, towns are being connected with uh, the big industrial giants it's it's going to take a long step. Well of course India is in the emerging market everybody wants to target India now after China. So what are your uh, views on this and how this association this network can be help to common uh, businesses Well we're looking at hosting another um, uh, educational seminar in the in the near future we're probably going to be doing that in June where we will focus on particular sectors mm-hmm. the energy sector the educational sector possibly the entertainment sector and uh, uh, interface between both Indian businesses and Canadian businesses right. as to how they can better partner with each other. So Vivek, you have been in this uh, business for a long period and you have interacted with the municipal government to the provincial to the highest level of the government. Now there are many times some issues about uh, businessmen wanting to come over here, they face challenges uh, getting the visas or vice versa, some other issues. So your uh, network will be working on those three federal, uh, provincial and uh, municipal levels? Yes. Now the most Uh, the the most uh, hindering factor mm-hmm. or the barrier to trade has been as you rightly said the visa right very often prominent people who are in business for a long time they are refused visas mm-hmm. so that's n- not a good sign you know uh, and i hope the present government uh, uh, keeps a special eye on mm-hmm. people who are applying for visas people of a good standing uh, given visas so both benefit right india as well as bc both right. benefit that they should do number 2 which is also very important is direct flights mm-hmm. between uh, bc that's from vancouver 
to Delhi and Absolutely. Bombay. Absolutely. Right. Bombay is the commercial capital, mm. Delhi is the capital. So these two have to be connected. It's high time it was done and the steps were taken. Now I believe um, the number of flights to between Delhi and uh, Toronto are going to increase because they've become very popular. Right. And depending on the availability of aircraft, maybe mm -hmm. it could uh, come off to Vancouver. Well, let's also. hope because we'll be hearing for long that a flight from Abbotsford to Delhi is going to start. And of course, we want a direct flight from Vancouver also. Yeah. And uh, a lot of uh, people, uh, you know, even domestic travelers also face issues on this particular yeah. issue. Yeah, that will solve so many problems. Right. I can tell you that the trade between BC and India will increase by leaps and bounds if there are direct flights because businessmen have no time to right. spend uh, 26 hours each way, right. you know, to travel and get back and get over the jet lag, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right. So I think that should happen. Great. As for a specific gateway is concerned, oh, uh, Catherine, what do you feel? How can your association also play a great role in this and disseminating information that? Right now, this is the best uh, gateway which we should utilize the most and get the maximum benefit. Well, as I said, we're looking to host uh, seminars and symposiums throughout the year. We mm -hmm. have one for June. We may be partnering with something with the provincial government in the fall, right. and we have our, our celebration. In addition, as I said, the BC Ministry of Trade, International Trade has said that they really want us to direct their members to them where they can provide the assistance and infrastructure to get them, to give people who are learning about doing business in India the support that they need. Wonderful. And towards the end, uh, anybody who wants to be a part of this network, what is the procedure? Where can they get the information and uh, your website or any phone number where they can contact you? Yes, we have an office here. Uh, Catherine's office is our headquarters and uh, we have a good website. Mm -hmm. uh, they can uh, become a member online. Right. So what's the website problem. and any phone number? Yeah, it is uh, www.bcibn.com. Mm -hmm. That's our website. Right. And Catherine, where is uh, where in your where are you located and what's the phone number? I'm located downtown. We don't have a BCIBN phone number as mm -hmm. of yet. We're doing everything through the internet. Right. If people have any questions, they can call my office number at 689-5444. It was a pleasure talking to you, both of you. Thank you and best wishes for this uh, wonderful endeavor. And I'm yeah. quite sure that with your uh, good intention, definitely businessmen will prosper and get uh, maximum benefit. Thank you and best wishes. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Thank you. So, when we talked about this, Catherine Sass and Vivesh Sarkour came and said that British Columbia Business Network has been made in the past, and it's a small business. If you have a Kamloops or a Ontario, if you have a focus, it's a focus that business is better in India and Canada. तदी संभव है जेकर एक कॉमन प्लेटफॉर्म तो मिल सके ये जो संस्था बनाई गई है इसका मकसद यह है कि तुम्हें एक प्लेटफॉर्म दिता जाए जिससे तो इनफोरमेन मिलेगी कि किड़े बिजनेस तुम जिते जाके काम करना चाहते हो तो कंटैक्ट दिए जाएंगे ताकि डायरैक्ट उन्होंने काम कर सको ताकि तो प्रॉब्लम्स ना आन जो असं आम तौर पर सुनने कि पंजाब में जाके या डेली में जाके या मुंबई में जाके तो अभी किसी पार्टनरशिप की पर वो कामयाब नहीं हुई सो ये वास्ते ग्राउंड जो प्रिपेयर करेंगे अते इस वेबसाइट पर जाके होर इन्फोरमेन लै सकते हो जी स्क्रीन पर है तो तुम इन मैंबर बन के सारी इनफोरमेन लै सकते हो आने वाले समय में होर इन एजुकेशनल सैमीनार्स हो गए गालाज हो गए उसका हिस्सा बनो ताकि ट्रेड बिटवीन इंडिया एंड कैनेडा कैन बी इंपरूव जिस दे के एक प्लेटफॉर्म तुम्हें तो प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं